Is the fitness industry lying to you? Let's talk about it. I'm Nate, I'm the Fit Future MD. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Pick up the free copy of the Nutrition and Workout Guide in the description below if you're interested in getting healthy for free. I'm the owner of Insercell. Insercell is family. Together we rise up from humble beginnings to inspire others all over the world with the messages on our t-shirts. Wear your inspiration today. Quality tees, inspirational messages, stop seeing negativity everywhere that you look, and change your life. Intercell.com, use code FITFUTUREMD for 20% off. So, you know, this is kind of a, <clears throat> a little bit deeper subject, right? And, you know, I'm going to get right into it. The fitness industry is basically lying to you, right? You know, they sit there and they'll sell you courses and sell you information that, number one, is free online because I offer it for free, right? I offer the information that you need to get healthy for free online, right? Number one. But number two, they're not using that information to actually get to the point where they're at, right? They're not, and they're not actually showing health in the in the fitness industry right you know to be sub six percent body fat is not healthy period right the way bodybuilders do things where they bulk up to 300 and plus pounds and then drop down to 240 250 260 that's not healthy right you know the the level of leanness that these fitness girls get to all that is not healthy right and, you know, most of them are doing drugs to get to those levels of leanness, right? Because the truth is your hormones cannot sustain the levels on a, on a low-fat diet, right? You know, if you're basically under 30 grams of fat your hormones will not stay where they need to be for you to get to be lean right your body is going to have to take from somewhere else to make your hormones or decrease your hormones and that's what the body does it decreases your hormones but if you supplement those hormones then that's when you know your body still doesn't make them right so then you're going to have issues with fertility right you're going to have you know, a lot of other issues, but fertility being the, the worst one, right? And well, not the worst, cardiac issues are the worst, right? They come from taking steroids. But, you know, and to me, number two is fertility, decreased fertility, right? <clears throat> so, you know, keep that in mind when you start listening to these people, you know, that are just they just got shredded to get your attention but they're not actually giving you healthy information right so that's the biggest problem with the health industry now right it's really you know everyone that the people that get shredded and look a certain way already genetically but really aren't giving information to people that were like me 300 plus pounds and really needed the the complete lifestyle change to become healthy right basically our parents were unhealthy right overweight obese they lived a certain way we lived a certain way with them right and we have to do something different if we want to be healthy and live a long time right America, you know, listening to health advice now, America is the in the worst health that it's ever been, right? You know, you're talking about 70% of the population overweight or obese. I mean, that's just mind-boggling to think about, right? And, uh, you know, back in the day, you know, nobody was overweight very few people right and so 
when you start thinking about health, long-term health, right? What is healthy, right? So healthy is the physical fitness standards that we had in school, right? 10 pull-ups, 50 push-ups, 50 sit-ups, you know, under an eight mile run, right? You know, those are the physical fitness conditions that say, hey, I'm actually a fit person, right? So, and maybe you've seen your favorite influencer do this, they'll go up a flight of stairs and be winded. And you'll be like, what in the world? You're supposed to be healthy and in shape. You know, you're in your 20s <laughs> being winded going up the stairs. Like, no, bro, like, that's not, that's not health, okay? Health is being able to go up a flight of stairs and not be winded, right? So, you know, keep that in mind that, so how are we going to overcome this misinformation, right? Well, number one, we're going to set those health standards for ourselves, right? So I'm, you're going to be able to run a mile. You're going to be able to do 10 pull-ups. You're going to be able to do 50 push-ups. You're going to be able to do 50 sit-ups. You're going to, going to be able to run a mile under eight minutes. Like those are your goals, right? Now, when you get to those goals, obviously you can start decreasing them, right? You know, you don't have to stay at just fit, right? You can be, you know, exceptional, right? But those are the, the standards, right, as far as physical conditioning, right? And I added in, right, I want to be able to bench press 315 pounds. I want to be able to squat 405, right? Um, I don't really deadlift that much, but you know, if I was trying to deadlift, at least deadlift 405, right? Um, and that would put you in the thousand pound club, right? That's called the thousand pound club of lifting, right? So not only are you physically fit, right? You can run, you can jump, you can do push ups, pull ups, sit ups, but you can also, you are also strong. You're in the thousand pound club, right? So those are the measurements, you know, the minimum goal measurements that we're trying to get to, right? Now, that being said, you know, nutrition is everything, right? And it has, be it has become in America so difficult, you know, Wendy's doesn't even have a chicken sandwich anymore, right? They have a chicken wrap, right? So, you know, If you're in an area that only has a Wendy's, well, they don't even have, I don't even think they have a salad. Or if they had a salad, it was just like uh, one of the big salads. It wasn't like a side salad, right? So what did you used to go to Wendy's for? You used to go to Wendy's for chili, a baked potato, and a side salad, right? Like that was the, that was the, the standard back in the day. What, what made Wendy's different, right? Anyway, but you know, it's becoming more and more difficult to find a uh, food that is healthy when you go out, right? So what would rule number one be? Rule number one would be I'd always have a meal prepared and ready, right? Because, you know, so you get off a ball field at eight o'clock at night, you know, you shouldn't have to run through the McDonald's drive through right? To, uh, to eat, right? Your meal should be right there, ready to go, right? And uh, there are ways to do that, right? To, uh, to meal prep and be ready at all times, right? So that's number one, and that's a lifestyle change period, right? Um, number two, you're gonna figure out how many calories you're supposed to have in a day, right? And always be under those calories if you're trying to lose weight or try to be right at those calories if you're trying to maintain your weight, right? Um, and honestly, you know, once you get in a groove, you really don't even have to think about it. This is just what I eat. This is my, this is my meal plan that I enjoy, right? You know, and uh, 
you know, that includes variety, right? So you're not just eating grilled chicken, right? Um, you're going to eat shrimp. You're going to eat steak. You're going to eat pork, right? If you can religiously do that, right? Um, you're going to eat other fish, you know, salmon, tilapia, um, cod, right? You're going to, you're going to include other sources of protein in your life, right? This is the truth on health, right? You want to get your micronutrients, right? So you're losing weight, but your hair is getting thin. You are not, uh, your body is not getting enough protein, right? And people think, oh, it's biotin for hair, right? Yes, you have to have the vitamin biotin to make hair, but you have to have your your hair is protein, right? So if you're not getting enough protein, your hair is going to thin out, right? So keep that in mind. You know, a lot of people like to, you know, do this fasting thing, right? Where you fast all day and have one meal. Well, that's not going to give your body enough protein, right? Your hair will start thinning out. And say so you can experiment with that, right? You can say. You know, okay, I'm going to up my protein until I get to a point where my hair is still good, right? And that's like, oh, well, this is how much protein my body actually needs, right? And you have to experiment with yourself, right? And that's All this is part of the Stay Fit Forever plan, right? We want to be fit forever, right? And it's a lifestyle choice. It is not a, you know, be like everybody else choice, right? And I think that's why... You know, everybody's looking for that answer, right? Everybody's looking for the pill to take. Ozempic, you know, all these other pills that they've come out with to help lose weight, right? Or the side effect is to lose weight. It's really for diabetes, right? But the side effect is weight loss, and now it's going through the roof for weight loss, right? But as soon as you stop taking that pill, you're right back to where you were at. All right, you haven't changed any habits in your life, right? And if you're not changing those habits in your life, then you know, you know, you're not going to have long-term health, right? And uh, there's ways to work in things that you enjoy, right? If you like ice cream, it's okay to have ice cream once a week, right? But it's not okay to have ice cream every day, even if you're under your calories. Nutrition-wise, health-wise, that's still not okay, right? Even if you're still losing weight, eating the ice cream, right? Let's say anything that's messing up your stomach, right? So, you know, there's so much diet stuff out there with the fake sugar in it, right? And fake sugar is basically a laxative and hurts your stomach, right? It's very, it's not necessarily bad for you, but it's not good for you either, right? So, you know... Well, they haven't proven that it's bad for you scientifically, but if your gut is always hurting every day, right, then you definitely have an issue. So keep that in mind. This is how we overcome the falseness of the health industry right now, right? You know, you go in, you get a pump, you get a butt pump, and you take a picture, and now you have a million followers, but you really are not spreading, you know, the good stuff, the actual healthy stuff, information out there. You know, you're shredded, you're less than 6% body fat, but you're unhealthy, right? Health health is 10%, 10 to 15% body fat for male, you know, between 20 and 30% body fat for female, or probably 25 to 30 for female, right? A little bit higher, but, you know, so keep that in mind, what real health is, Real fitness is the the fit tests, right? So keep that in mind. Find someone to follow that is older and has been doing it their whole life, right? And they'll teach you, you know, how to, you know, adjust your life so that you are healthy until you're in your 70s and 80s like they are, right? And you find them, they're at your gym, right? There's, you know, 50 year old, 60 year old trainers in there that have been doing it forever and they can teach you if you need help. Obviously you can download my free health and nutrition guide 
in there. You can DM me the word ready if you want to join the mentor program, right? Um, comment down below and let me know what the hardest thing you have to overcome uh, in your weight loss journey. I'm Nate. I'm the Fit Future MD. Shop at insercell.com. Use code FITFUTUREMD for 20% off, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.